Hi friends, welcome back to Team Education. Friends, in this video, we are solving problem on non-exact differential equation solution. Okay, given problem is solve 2xy to the power of 4e to the power of 5 plus 2xy cube plus y dx plus x square y to the power of 4 e to the power of 5 minus x square y square minus 3x times of dy is equal to 0. Friends, by the observation, we can say the given problem is in the form of m of x comma y dx plus n of x comma y dy is equal to 0. Is it or not? Yes. So, if they are given in the form of m dx plus n dy is equal to 0, we have to verify the given differential equation is an exact or not. How we can say? The given differential equation is an exact means we need to find out dou m by dou y and dou n by dou x. If both are equal then you can say which is an exact. If both are not equal then you can say non-exact. If it is an exact we will get directly general solution. If it is a non-exact we cannot get the general solution directly. In that case we have to make it non-exact to exact by multiplying suitable factor that factor is said to be integrating factor first we have to verify which is an exact or not you see friends given problem you compare on both sides dx equation is m so that m is you have 2xy to the power of 4 e to the power of y plus 2xy cube plus y now we need to find out dou m y dou y so friends you tell me what is the dou m y dou y means while differentiating m partially with respect to why we have to treat all other variables as a constant so 2x is a constant yes or no now it is a product of the two terms we have so uv rule you need to apply so first term into second term derivative e power y derivative is e power y plus second term e power y into y power 4 derivative 4y cube plus uh, and the second term what we have 2x is a constant y cube derivative is 3y square plus y derivative is 1. So if you simplify this then we will have you multiply 2x friends inside then 2x y to the power of 4 into e to the power of 5 plus 2 times of 4 is 8 x e to the power of 5 into y cube plus 2 times of 3 is 6 x y square plus 1. So this is the dou m y dou y. Okay friends. Now we have to find out a uh, uh, sorry first we need to write uh, n value what is n you have n is equal to x square y to the power of 4 e to the power of 5 minus x square y square this one only now minus 3x so first you need to find out dou n by dou x now i am doing dou n by dou x means while differentiating n partially with respect to x we have to treat all other variables as a constant so y power 4 e to the power of 5 is a constant now x square derivative is 2x right minus here y square is a constant x square derivative is 2x minus 3x is there so single valued function in terms of x so x derivative is 1 1 into 3 is 3 so if you simplify this then you will have 2 x y to the power of 4 e to the power of 5 minus 2 times of 1 means 2 x y square minus 3. Okay friends, now you observe this is which value? Dou n by dou x value. Is both are equal? You see m y is 2 x y power 4 e to the power of 5. 2 x y to the power of 4 e power y. Right correct only. But here you have 8 x e to the power of 5 y cube. 2 x y square. So both are not equal. Therefore what we can say? dou m y dou y not is equal to dou n by dou x therefore given m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 is non-exact so if it is a non-exact how we can get the solution we cannot get directly so we need to find out integrating factor so to find integrating factor we have a different method friends first we have a rule one what is the rule one rule one is inspection method okay in the inspection method we have to separate the variable if it is a possible you see friends here you have a y dx 2xy cube dx 2xy power 4 e power 5 uh, dx is uh, can you separate the terms if i separate it can you get the derivatives like in the form of derivative of bracket no it is not possible even if you take in both 
so you cannot get the inspection method already we discussed inspection method problems in the earlier videos okay now so inspection method is not possible now go for rule 2 what is the rule 2 we have rule 2 is homogeneous function we have to verify m and n are homogeneous functions of same degree or not okay friends now here you observe this is the m we have now what is the degree for this x e power uh, this is a degree 5 but here you have a e power k so you cannot get the degree for the exponential function here 1 is there here 4 is there so this is a non homogeneous function so m is whenever m is a non homogeneous entire the differential equation is also non homogeneous so you cannot apply the second rule now go for rule 3 what is the rule 3 we have rule 3 should be in the form of given function is a non exact given m dx plus n dy equal 0 is non exact and it should be in the form of f of uh, x y y into f x y d x plus x into g x y d y is equal to 0 so y d x should be friends okay d x quotient here y you have to take common in the d x you can take y is a common yes here you are getting y common here also you are getting y common if i taken y common then what you will have 2x y square but it should be 2x square y square then only you can say it is a function of f of x comma y so you are getting only 2x y square so you can say the given function is a not in this form so you cannot apply rule 3 now go for a rule 4 what is the rule 4 we have rule 4 and rule 5 are similar friends in this case we need to find out dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x so now if you divide with n you will get a function of x alone if you are getting a function of x alone then integrating factor is e to the power of integral f of x dx now if you divide with m uh, for the same function friends for this same function what we what we are doing before that uh, you have to find dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x divide with m you may get a g of y in this case integrating factor is e to the power of integral g of y dy okay friends now you verify first dou m by dou y and dou n by dou x what we are getting so friends you observe this is dou m by dou y this is dou n by dou x okay friends here i have written a dou m by dou y value dou n by dou x value what we are getting okay now we are finding dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x this is 2xy power 4 e power y 2xy power 4 e power y both are getting cancelled next remaining terms what you have 8x e power y y cube is it there no so write down as it is 8x e to the power of y into y cube next you have 6xy square minus 2xy square so minus of minus plus 6 plus 2 means 8xy square this is plus 1 this is minus 3 minus of minus means plus so 1 plus 3 means 4 so this is a dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x now what we have to do you know you have to divide with m or n what we have m and n okay friends here i have written m value and n value now i am verifying divide with m is possible or n is possible trial and error first divide with n you observe x, x is there x square okay it's not an issue y cube is there y power 4 e power y e power y here 8 x y square x square y square plus 4 minus 3x so it is not possible friends even uh, if you take an x is common here you have a 4 but here you have a minus 3 so you cannot apply this one just try try what will happen you see minus 3x is there 4 is there so what you will uh, you cannot get directly okay uh, what i will do now divide with m i am checking 1 by m into dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x i am checking you see uh, from this what I can take common 4 is there 4 8 8 so 4 I am taking common if I take a 4 common x 2 x y cube into e to the power of y plus 4 x y square plus 1 divided by m what I have 2 2 1 ok uh, y y cube y power 4 so I can take y is a common if I take a y common 2x y power 4 means y cube e to the power of y is e to the power of y plus here what I am taking common y so 2x y square plus 1 ok friends here you see from the above I took 4 is a common so I think you will have this is 2 not 4 I have done a mistake now you observe friends numerator and denominator both are same so you will have 4 by 5 and one more one more thing also hint this is plus 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 
here you have a plus 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 sign but here you have plus minus minus so is it possible friends so don't take one by n directly just directly trial and error you can do like this okay now luckily we have with m now uh, integrating factor is integrating factor is what you have e to, this is a function g of y e to the power of minus g of y dy so e to the power of minus integral of 4 by y dy which is equal to e to the power of minus 4 I am taking common 1 by y dy so denominator y derivative in the numerator so e to the power of minus 4 log y so this is you can write e to the power of log y to the power of minus 4 so this is minus y power 4 therefore the integrating factor is 1 by y to the power of 4 okay friends now what we have to do this integrating factor we have to multiply with the given differential equation m dx plus n dy okay if i uh, uh, multiplied with uh, m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 the integrating factor it will become new differential equation m1 dx plus n1 dy is equal to 0 which is an exact differential equation okay first i am going to multiply friends here i have written a m1 m dx into 1 by y power 4 n dy into 1 by y power 4 now i am multiplying i means i am simplifying so you will have 2x e to the power of y y power 4 y power 4 getting cancelled plus 2x y cube by y power 4 means divided by y plus y by y power 4 means 1 by y cube into dx plus y power 4 you multiply uh, 1 by y power 4 you multiply then x square e to the power of y y power 4 y power 4 getting cancelled minus x square divided by y square here sorry here you have y square here you have y power 4 so divided by y square correct only minus 3x by y power 4 into dy is equal to 0 is exact this is exact friends remember why it is exact we are multiplying integrating factor due to that reason so which is exact now the general solution is we have integral of m1 dx plus integral of n1 dy is equal to c in this case y is a constant here free from x terms don't take uh, x term friends okay now here you observe this is y if i take in common means e power y into integral 2x dx plus 2 by y i am writing outside x dx 1 by y cube is a constant now integral of 1 dx plus don't take x term is it containing x term yes here x term here also you have x term so this will be 0 is equal to c now you do the integration which gives the general solution e power y into 2 i am writing outside x integration x square by 2 plus 2 by y x integration x square by 2 plus 1 by y cube into x which is equal to c so if you simplify this numerator 2 denominator to cancel numerator 2 denominator 2 getting cancelled if you simplify then we will get the general solution is x square e to the power of y plus x square by y plus x by y cube is equal to c is the general solution for the given problem okay friends is it clear for everyone right like this we have to solve the non-exact differential equation into exact differential equation then only we will get the solution for that we have to multiply one integrating factor we have different methods to solve the integrating factor i hope it is a clear for everyone